Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brownells here. Today we're back with another edition of Smithbusters, and we're taking a look at the myth that you can interchange primers, such as using rifle primers, pistol primers, and things like that. Steve? Yeah, this is a uh, this is a scary one because people do all kinds of strange things when they're reloading, and the truth is out there. And we've been looking quite a lot, doing a lot of research on this. And some interchangeability is possible, but you really got to be careful. For instance, it's a well-known fact that uh, for years people have used small rifle primers to shoot loads in 9mm 38 Super when they were shooting high pressure loads. No problems there as long as you have a strong mainspring or striker spring, you know, because the cup is thicker. You don't have your ignition problems. But the testing shows that the pressures don't spike any higher or anything in most cases. That'll vary from powder and case, you know, to powder and case. But that's been done a lot. And a few cartridges take rifle primers, right. like 454 Casul, some of those. I think it's recommended for 9x23, if I remember right, too. Because okay. that's around 50 grand in pressure. Gotcha, yeah. But for the most part, you've got to really be careful. And if you want to substitute a primer that seems to fit, you have to reduce your load and work back up. Now, primarily you'll see, if you go to, to Google List or something, you'll see that it refers to small rifle primers being used in small pistol, not the reverse. That's because the cups are thicker on rifle primers. They won't always contain the pressure, so don't put pistol primers in 223, for example. And the problem with large primers large rifle versus large pistol, is that large rifle primers are slightly taller. So they tend to stick up above the rim of the case. That's not always the case because in preparing this, I seated a large rifle primer in a 45 auto case and it's seated dead flush. So you could use it if you wanted to. <laughs> so you really got to do the research, work up a load. If the primer seems to fit, Obviously, if the primer sits proud of the, sh of the shell, you can't use it because it'll tie up your revolver rotating or it might slam fire in an automatic when that slide face hits, uh, makes contact. So our best advice is still to hold out for the proper primer that's called for by your manual. You know, unless, uh, unless you've got a proven load already that you've used in IPSC or something where you're loading your 9mm up and you're using small rifle primers, I'd still advise to use the proper primers. Yeah, this one's pretty sketchy and potentially pretty dangerous. So, uh, you know, rifles are, or primers are hard enough to get right now anyway, so you might as well use the correct ones right. for the correct application. I would call this one murky. Murky it is. So if you have any experiences with this or, you know, would like to add anything to it, as always, leave us a comment down below. Any questions, give us a call on the tech line. We'll see you next time on another edition of Smith Busters.